even if you call the end of the New Testament, mm -hmm. I don't know that it changes Moses' laws of war and their acceptability in Well, any hypothetically, if you take the New Testament seriously, it does. Because it's a, it's a document that supersedes it. No. The New Testament does not supersede the Old Testament. Small difference. Don't tell me I'm splitting hairs. When you argue Bible all night long for four years in college, you'll understand that this actually does make a difference when you know what you're talking about because you've talked about it. The Bible, uh, the, the New Testament does not supersede the Old Testament. It completes it. And, and there's a difference. Supersede would mean like maybe it's wrong and I disagree, but I'm right and you're not. That's not what the New Testament does. The, the situation in the Old Testament was for a specific time, and that was leading up to the better days when Jesus would come and release everybody and in, in, in heart, in spirit first, of course, and then later on, eventually, once we're released in our hearts, then we can, we can make the world a better place. So finally, Jesus came to, to, to fulfill the, the release in our hearts, just of knowing the truth, maybe believing him, hopefully, but, but just even knowing what the truth is, is useful for everyone, whether you believe in him or not. It was a spiritual release. Jesus finally came and he fulfilled what the Old Testament was leading us up to. The, the, the New Testament does not merely supersede and cancel out disagreements with the Old Testament. It doesn't agree with the Old Testament. It agrees with it because the Old Testament was leading us through those dark times, slowly pulling the evil roots out of our, our bodies, bringing us to the, the point that it's really headed towards. And I, and I think there's actually technical reasons but why it doesn't it supersede it. it on every point. I mean, this is the problem. Slavery is a very straightforward case. Uh, Sam, you accepted the point for supersede and maybe complete would be better. And if you're going to say it doesn't supersede or complete on every point, you need to say what those points are. You're saying it, but you need to say why it doesn't supersede it. Uh, is it... Wait a minute. Wait, Sam, you said the New Testament doesn't supersede the Old Testament's comments on slavery? What, is, that, is that what you said, Sam? Are, Sam, are, are you going to talk about, are you going to talk about Philemon? Where, where Paul says to free the slave? Are, are you going to talk about Luke 4.18 where Jesus comes to release the captives? Uh, when you say it doesn't supersede the Old Testament, do you mean that, that the New Testament doesn't disagree that the New Testament agrees with the Old Testament when the Old Testament says the goal is to abolish employment because that's also hideous and we don't know it because our times were that evil? Is that what you're going to say, Sam? What are you, you going to say, Sam, that, this, that the New Testament doesn't uh, disagree with, as you say, the Old Testament advocates slavery? I argue that it doesn't. What, 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 do, you, what do you mean? It's because clearly the, clearly, the, oh, the Bible thumpers of the South who were defending... Bible thumpers of the South. That's a jab, but yes, it's a good label, but it's better if you're objective, Sam. Give people less to argue with. The goal is not to inflame and irritate people. I would call you out on that, and I would, I would ask you to go back and use objective words just for good form, but I think we're still okay anyway. Slavery, with reference to the text, felt they were on firm ground, and I would just, I would invite anyone to read hey, anyone. what the, yeah. the New Testament I and the Old Testament say about slavery to see that the they were on fairly firm ground, that the, that the, the balance of the, talk, of the honest reading was on the side of clearly, clearly. We, can, we can keep slaves. Right? Yeah, Jesus, well, Jesus, no. Jesus never envisioned a world without slavery, and he admonished slaves what? to serve their masters what? well and to serve Did their Christian read masters it? especially well. You said the New Testament, Protestants Old Testament, Protestants did you agree with them? that? Because like I said, they were at the forefront of the fight against slavery. Okay, wait, 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 stop. Jordan, you're arguing what the Christians said. Argue what the Bible says, man. But you don't know what the Bible says that well, because that's not your expertise, because all of you guys are in over your heads. Why, why are people watching this? I mean, these, these are super smart people in other areas in what they're discussing. Jordan, look at me. Professional rule number one. This is psych code of ethics as I know. You know what I'm going to say. I know you know. No one to refer. No one to refer. That, that would have, that would have done, in fact, that would have been, that would have been your, your, a good escape hatch for everyone here because nobody came out of this part of the discussion looking good. No one did. It was, it was a stalemate here. And it's because they didn't, they should have said, we're not Bible people. Let's talk about something else. That, that man would have gotten, um, he would have gotten 20 coolness points. Uh, but, but I think they, there was they were a clearly range influenced of... by something outside. See, this is an argument of people that are arguing about, they have an opinion, but they don't really know what they're talking about. Don't you do that with politics, you, anyone watching. Please, please, don't argue about stuff that you don't know about. 
Don't do it. It's really tempting to have an opinion on stuff. That's what we got happening here. It's really tempting to have an opinion on things that we're not experienced in. It's so easy, it's so easy and cheap and lazy to just have an opinion, have an opinion, have an opinion. Do you really know what you're talking about? None of these guys are mentioning the facts that, that I mentioned. That would have made this a much more interesting argument. Whether you're going to say I'm right or wrong, I had information. They're not even talking about that information. They, 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 they don't know the, the facts about it. The, 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 this says this and that says that and that Bible verse is here. Those are very interesting and relevant and they're not even bringing it up. Uh, you, you know, Here we've got very, very well-educated men in other fields that are looking like you know, the idiots at the coffee shop talking about politics when none of them read the Constitution. By the text. And th this is, again, it's, th th you're making this harder than it is. And It's harder than it is because Jordan is an impasse. He doesn't have the information to really come through on this debate about content. And Sam, you the same. That you, you're so convinced based on a lot of lack of information. You've got a lot of good information, Sam. You're well read, really, really. You've got a lot of, I would be asking you for facts. You're welcome to tell them to me because I don't know. I just know Bible. That's what I know. And Sam, you know a lot of other stuff. So I'd love to put this together and see what we come up with. But um, Sam, there's stuff you're missing and you've got this incomplete view. And I argue Jordan's right, but doesn't know why. And so he's not, he's not buying it. He, he, he's seen enough to told his opinion, but he doesn't know enough to really come through and be persuasive at this point. And you're missing facts, Sam, in, in, in your, your selective, you got some true information, but the, it's very selective and there's a lot else that would change things. I think I'm being, okay, maybe it's debatable, but I think, Sam, you're, you've, you, you've got an incompletely informed opinion and then maybe it might not be the right opinion and you can't figure out why this other guy doesn't agree with you. And I, I think you're frustrated because the guy that knows a little bit, not much more than you, isn't able to fill you in. This was a stalemate, a very unfortunate part of this 